And I'm curious about the congregate care facilities that are essentially the two prisons in Rome, the ACI and the Y. And my understanding, I believe, is that there's been no cases of prisoners who tested positive for COVID at the ACI, correct me if I'm wrong, but the reports that the Wyatt is filing with the federal court under the border uh, indicate what looks to be, or what appears to be, the beginning of an exponential curve uh, with positive tests into the double digits. And the Wyatt, the, from the report, appears to be testing, you know, about 20 people a week, uh, 20 detainees a week. And what is the Department of Health doing in support of that testing effort? Are you doing anything comparable to what you've done with nursing homes, send in mobile teams, testing facilities, and so on? Or are you in a, a more uh, supporting role to the medical staff there? While the federal government is the primary responsibility or responsible organization for the response at Wyatt, as I've shared before, our state epidemiologist and our team has been in very close contact with the medical director there because we want to make sure that any outbreak setting in our state has the response to keep it under control that's needed. Based on that, we have engaged with them, pulled in the resources of our congregate setting support team to make sure that they have the education they need to enforce the infection control policies that are going to be necessary to keep uh, their outbreak response under control. Is the Department of Health supplying tests to Wyatt? Um, we are working in coordination uh, with them. They are the sole accountable entity to do it, and we want to make sure that we fill in any gaps and help push them in the direction that's needed to go.